What's up, weirdos? Just wanted to give you a little garden update. Uh, it is March 24th, and the weather's been pretty good, so I went ahead and planted my sugar snap peas. I got a row right there along this trellis, another row along this trellis, and then there's a row along that last trellis in the back over there. And then over here, I've got some shell peas. Uh, they're just going to take up, take up about half of the bed right there. I'm going to plant some squash in this, uh, this little section right here. But I'm going to hold off on that until probably end of May. Uh, and then after that, I've got some carrots and some beets in this bed right here. I've had trouble growing beets in the past. And my stepdad really likes beets, but uh, he said... He, I'm not a gardener until I can grow beets, until I can successfully grow beets. So <laughs> we're, we're going to hope that uh, they get enough sun here. Last year, I had them in this bed over here, and they just didn't get enough sun. And uh, before that, the rabbits always got them. And that's why this is really important right here. Get some chicken wire on the bottom of your garden fence. And they can't get in. Really, the only place the rabbits can get in is right, under, right underneath the door. So every time I go over there, I just come over here and just kind of kick kick the wood chips under it. And uh, I haven't seen a rabbit in, in my garden in a couple years, so it's, it's worked pretty well. Uh, potatoes are coming in in a couple weeks. So once I get in here, I'll go ahead and start planting them in the pots. I'm not going to put them in the raised beds because I've had trouble with uh, grass if you can believe it. Uh, I had potatoes in those back two beds last year. And after I dug them up, I must have dug up some of the, uh, some of that clay, fertile clay soil that was underneath all the nice compost that I put on top. And uh, I ended up with a bunch of grass in there. So the grass seed, the grass will grow in around here really well for some reason. Um, you know, you don't even have to put down seed and it'll just go crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to grow potatoes in raised beds ever again or in the ground. I'm just going to stick to the pots. I'm going to stick to the buckets. That's worked well for me in the past, and uh, it's easy to clean up. It's less weeding. It's easy to water. So uh, that's what we're going to do there. And uh, I've also, also got some planting done over here. i got... Uh, six rows of lettuce, uh, two rows of the Waldman's lettuce, another two rows of uh, speckled butterhead, and then two rows of hyper red rumpled. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, I think this, I think all this stuff will germinate. We've got some decent temperatures the next few weeks. I think the lowest is in the 30s, the highest is up into the 60s, so I think we'll be all right. And then over here I have a row of kale, a row of arugula, and then uh, two different types of spinach over three rows here, it looks like. Yeah, three rows. Uh, that's Bloomsdale right there. And then this is Butterfly. I've never tried it, so we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, that's about all I've got right now. Uh, there will be more updates once I get those potatoes in. And uh, I've, I have started my tomatoes and peppers. Uh, they're, they're, they're just starting to sprout. So, uh, you know, really not much to update you on with that. Maybe a couple weeks from now, we'll see how they're doing. Uh, that's all for now. Goodbye.